time to get the big boy out. That's a real bummer with that griot because I got to use that for the this rocker panel and the entire front bumper. So we're SOL without that. I'm not doing it by hand. inventory here of progress made we've more or less got the driver's side done now now since my griot's mini me orbital shit the bed um, it's kind of cramping my style a bit here and I haven't been able to go back over with the 0406 Sonax polish on the front left quarter panel and the driver's door and the um, rocker panel. So I got that to go. And there's just a couple spots I need to go over again around the uh, door handle, driver's door handle. There's still a little bit of scuffing in the way I need to take out. I'll probably have to go over it again with the compound polishing. Compound. But I really need the three inch orbital to get around those tight spots. And since it's not working, um, we're kind of in a holding pattern here. Um, overall though, looking pretty good. Haven't done anything to the front bumper yet. I'm gonna have to flip the car around in order to do that. There's a bunch of um, just really tiny rock chips, almost like sandblasting chips uh, that I need to fix on the front. And there's, and there's a few elsewhere. On the car, the mirrors, for instance, these are going to be really good candidates for dock color chip. The other side's about as bad. And then there's one sizable chip here in the front, right there. Um, there's a few others, not many, but I pretty much know where they all are now. There's a little scratch on the side right there, the spoiler. But most of these are going to be pretty fixable, so once we go over them with some touch-up paint, they should be pretty much indetectable. And so we've, you know, we've polished, we've, we've clay barred and polished most of the car now. And when we go back and fix these rock chips, we're probably going to have to do it again 
just because once we fix all the rock chips and stuff, the paint may not be completely smooth where we fixed them, so we want to make sure we blend that in properly, so we may have to go back over it with the smaller orbital and do another compound and finer polish just to make sure we're blending it in and making it as hard to detect as possible. So that's sort of the plan. Um, but <laughs> not a whole lot more I can do on the outside until I get my other orbital fixed or replace one of the two. The roops is great, but um, you know, to get the lower part of the doors is just, it's really too big down there. Um, and I almost would have used the, the smaller one on the quarter panel too. It's great for hoods and and uh, roofs and trunks and stuff like that. Um, but, you know, especially on the front, you know, these little teeny weeny nooks and crannies and stuff, there's just no way. It's, you're only going to get about a third of the orbital on it. Whereas that smaller one, I mean, it's just perfect. You just shoot it right down the, the bumper and it fits perfectly. It doesn't splatter anything because it doesn't have any pad hanging off of it. Um, so that's kind of where we are here. Uh, I think I'm going to just shut it down for the night. Um, but again, you know, it's one of those things, progress is being made. If you try to come out here and do it all one night, you're just going to burn yourself up. And uh, so the best thing to do is just, you know, do an hour or two, pick a panel or two, get them done, go inside, come back fresh the next day. So you go. If you like this video, like it, didn't like it, as usual, don't like it. Um, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Chris World TV. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe today so you never miss an episode. Take care.